Topic, Jurisprudence 1. Who among the following had explained the distinction between expositorial jurisprudence and sensorial jurisprudence? A. Kelson B. Bentham C. Kelson D. Hart. The answer of first question is, B, that is Bentham. And the explanation is, while defining the principles of morals and legislation, in the end, Bentham described the taxonomy of the branches of jurisprudence, and, his first division was the distinction between expository and sensorial jurisprudence. The expository defines, what the law is, and the sensorial defines, what it ought to be. 2. Which of the following statement summarizes the normative legal theory most accurately? A. Its principal concern is with moral or political values. B. It is preoccupied with the analysis of the application of legislation to moral issues. C. It expresses the idea that law consists only of norms and values. D. It is represented by the positivist view of law as developed by Salmond. The answer of second question is, A. That is, its principal concern is with moral or political values. Explanations, normative generally means relating to an evaluative standard. Normativity is the phenomenon in human societies of designating some actions or outcomes as good or desirable or permissible, and, others as bad or undesirable or impermissible. A norm in this normative sense means, a standard for evaluating or making judgments about behavior or outcomes. Likewise, the normative theory of law came into existence in early 20th century. Its purpose is to purify the traditional science of law by removing from it the many foreign elements which have found their way into it, and thus to establish a pure method of legal cognition. Its chief feature, therefore, is methodological and critical. 3. Which one of the following statements best describes Lon Fuller's objective in his hypothetical case of the Spilonsian explorers? A. To consider the extent to which murder requires actus rea. B. To examine the significant questions of legal and political philosophy. C. To criticize the role of the judiciary in cases involving a conflict between law and morality. D. To illustrate the differences between the criminal law and the civil law. The answer of third question is, B. That is, to examine the significant questions of legal and political philosophy. Explanations The case of the Spilonsian explorers is an article by the philosopher Lon L. Fuller. The article was first published in the Harvard Law Review in 1949. It primarily discusses the form of a fictional judgment, it presents a legal philosophy puzzle to the reader and five possible solutions in the form of judicial opinions that are attributed to judges sitting on the fictional Supreme Court of Newgarth in the year 4300. 4. Who among the following defines jurisprudence as the lawyer's extroversion? It is the lawyer's examination of the precepts, ideals and techniques of the law in the light derived from present knowledge in the discipline other than law? A. Almond B. Roscoe Bound C. Julius Stone D. Kelson The answer of fourth question is, C. That is Julius Stone. Explanations Stone firmly believed that jurisprudence is lawyer's extroversion as it is the lawyer's examination of precepts and techniques of the law and the life derived from present knowledge and disciplines other than law. It means, a lawyer should not be a mere legal technician and knowing only the legal texts and procedures but, he should be a social activist capable enough to understand the societal change with the time. 5. The work the province of jurisprudence determined belongs to. A. Kelson. B. Austin. C. Salmond. D. John Rawls. The answer of fifth question is, B. That is, John Austin. Explanations, The Province of Jurisprudence Determined is the book written by John Austin, and first published in 1832, in which he sets out his theory of law generally known as the command theory. Austin believed that the science of general jurisprudence consisted in the clarification and arrangement of fundamental legal notions. 6. What is the meaning of lex in to non best lex? A. An unjust law is not a law. B. Law is superior among all. C. Law defines just and unjust. D. The immoral law is not valid. The answer of sixth question is, A. That is, an unjust law is not a law. Explanations, lex in to non est lex, is a standard legal maxim. Originating with St. Augustine. The motto was used by St. Thomas Aquinas and quoted by Martin Luther King Jr. during the Civil Rights Movement to describe racial segregation and discrimination against African Americans. 7. Cicero's conception of natural law is based on the idea that true law is right reason in agreement with nature. 
according to him reason is a key element because a it is a sin for humans not to apply reason b the law of nature is the basis of all positive law c the principles of natural law are discoverable by reason d natural law does not apply without good reason the answer of seventh question is c that is the principles of natural law are discoverable by reason explanations cicero's definition which is described in his work namely de repubblica is as follows true law is right reason in agreement with nature it is of universal application unchanging and everlasting it is a sin to try to alter this law nor is it allowable to attempt to repeal any part of it and it is impossible to abolish it entirely god is the author of this law its promulgator and its enforcing judge he therefore incorporates three components natural law's universality and immutability its standing as a higher law and its discoverability by reason 8 who among the following has been propounded the principles of social solidarity a r pound b sovereignty c duguit d heart the answer of eighth question is c that is leon duguit explanations social solidarity is the feeling of oneness the term social solidarity represents the strength cohesiveness collective consciousness and viability of the society leon duguit's social solidarity explain the interdependence of men on his other fellow men no one can survive without the depending on other men hence the social interdependence and cooperation are very important for human existence 9 who among the following said that law grows with the growth and strengthen with the strength of the people and finally dies away as the nation loses its nationality a salmon b Hart. c sovereignty d kelson the answer of ninth question is c that is sovereignty 10 who among the following has major contribution in codifying the law a austin b maine c r pound d bentham the answer of 10th question is d that is bentham this is all for this video in next video we'll discuss more questions along with answers and explanations on the topic jurisprudence so keep watching and yes if did not subscribe our channel the subscribe it now to watch more such mcq videos on legal topics